All right, so ladies and gentlemen, in this example, what I have is theta equals 205. And what they want me to do is determine the reference angle. So please, if you don't remember what the reference angle is, you're going to want to write this down. The reference angle, the reference angle is the acute angle between the terminal side of your angle and the x-axis. So first thing we need to do is learn how to sketch 205 degrees. So we remember that we are sketching this in standard position, where that's going to be our initial side. right? Our initial side is always going to start here. And then we're going to rotate our ray about the same vertex at the origin. Well, we know that if we rotate our ray halfway around the circle in degree form, since this is positive, right? Counterclockwise is positive, clockwise is negative. So if I go halfway around a circle, that's 180 degrees, right? So I need to go past 180 degrees, um, at least another 25 more degrees. So it's going to be roughly somewhere like that. So that would be, so that's my initial side of my angle. That's my terminal side of my angle. This is roughly a measurement of 205 degrees, which we call theta, right? Theta equals 205 degrees. So by my definition of what I just said, to find the reference angle, that is the acute angle between your terminal side and your x-axis. And a lot of times we denote the reference angle as theta prime. Okay? It's just a different way for us to distinguish between theta and theta prime. So we have this in the third quadrant. So what I need to do is I have this big angle, 180 degrees, but I just want to figure out what the red is. That's the reference angle. So I'll take theta prime is going to equal theta minus 180 degrees. Right? Because if I take this angle and I subtract 180 degrees, that's just going to leave me with that little chunk. So theta prime equals 205 degrees minus 180 degrees. So theta prime equals 25 degrees. Okay.